guys welcome back to my channel I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I install my um, zipper and also my invisible zipper so I'm basically going to show you guys two ways to insert your zippers today so before I start I quickly want to like uh, tell you guys that I noticed that a lot of you guys don't get notified every time I upload a video so I'm quickly going to show you guys what I mean by turning turning on your notification bell is that bell right up there so you just want to go ahead and click it and when you click it you're going to see this um, uh, a thingy that ask you to click on it if you want to be notified every time I upload a video so all you need to do is just click on it and you're done and you're gonna get notified every time I upload a video so please go do that and yeah okay, so back to the tutorial for today if you want to see how to attach zipper definitely keep watching guys okay, so let's get started I'm going to be showing you guys how to insert two types of zippers since these are the two we're going to be using a lot in this channel i'm going to be showing you guys how to insert a normal zipper and i'm going to be showing you guys how to insert an invisible zipper and for this invisible zipper you're going to need an invisible uh, uh, zipper foot because if you don't have it you're not just you're not going to get the the nice clean look that an invisible vis uh, uh, zipper gives so make sure you get yourself uh, uh, an invisible uh, zipper foot and this is a universal one and it's normally the plastic one this is the one I have but you also have the one that come um, that comes with your your so your own sewing machine brand so you can just go ahead and go to your local um, supply store and see which one you can buy so we're going to start with the normal zipper and I've already went ahead and cut out the the pieces I'm going to show you with so you're going to need two separate pieces for both zippers so you need to go your pieces needs to be like this so let's get started with the easy one which is the normal zipper so, this like we always do when you want to sew this these are your two pieces you're going to have it like this and then you're going to place your zipper and right now we are, let me zoom in, we are basically determining the length of the zipper and how much we need to open to be able to insert the zipper. So as you can see, the zipper is up to here and you're just going to put your pin in place and then you're going to sew down from that point. And that's, if you're sewing this on your garment, this is going to be your back seam, your side seam, wherever part you choose to um, insert your zipper. So you're going to go ahead and sew it from there till there. So as you can see I already went ahead and sew it and I've also went ahead and ironed it. So this is very important. You need to iron after you sew the two pieces together so everything is nice and flat and this piece this is the probably the inch the one inch going to, seam allowance you're going to add to your piece when you're creating your pattern so this is what has been ironed on both sides so right now all you need to do is just to place your zipper in place like so can see it's right there let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing and then you're just gonna start pinning so after you've pinned your zipper you should have something like this and then you just want to go ahead and switch from there to there get here put my foot down and I raise this up and I take this so I put this back and I take this down so I put it here and I turn my spur and I sew it close Turn it 
turn it again. And you can bring this down if you want to. Guys, as you can see, this is what you should have after you've um, done everything. So you should have something nice and flat from the inside and also so this is a very easy way to attach your zipper so as you can see it's really really easy and now we can move on to the more complicated one which is the invisible zipper but the invisible zipper is another totally a different method of inserting it so what you want to do you want to first of all go ahead and prep your fabric you want to go iron and half an inch as you can see I already ironed that bit and this is going to give me a guideline of where to place my um, to place my zipper later so make sure you go do that so this is the two pieces that it comes with and you need to insert this in this plastic thingy and there's like a click thing you need to hear that click so you're just gonna gently push it in like so so you see and these piece moves like so this is what you need to have and you're going to be inserting this piece to your sewing machine which okay guys so this is a regular zipper this is a regular uh, sewing foot so you need to take this foot out and put your invisible zipper so are you And you just take these out. This is so. Yeah, you see, you need to hear that click, and then you're just going to screw it back. <laughs> Make sure you screw it back really tight. yeah so now remember this can move like anywhere you want so you can see this is moving and then you can start sewing make sure that the your needle is in the middle of this hole because it has I don't know if you can see but there's a hole here and that's the place you need to put your needle all right and this is your zipper like so the right on the right side but when you're sewing it you need to unzip it and then you want to flip it you're gonna flip it and you're gonna place this right on that fold you already ironed so you can see this is what you should have after you've um pin it and you can see when you flip it later this is what it should looks like after sewing but you're going to see it later when we're done and then you're going to go ahead and sew it from there to there make sure your needle is close to the zipper zipper too as possible and then you're just really going to start sewing So as you can see, we already sewn this one. And then when you flip it and zip it, you see this? Voila! Do you see how neat and how clean this is? And I haven't even ironed it yet. Eh? So what you want to do is you want to go ahead at this point and iron it flat. And we're going to attach the we're going to attach the other um, other side of the zipper piece. You're going to lay your thinny, your piece flat like this. And then, this is the other piece. What you want to do is, you're going to flip this back like so. And you're just going to start pinning. And you're placing it on that half an inch we ironed. 
placing it there. We're going to go ahead and sew that in place. So you're going to place it and then you're just going to start sewing like we did the first one. This is what you This is what you have after sewing. When you zip it close, you can barely see the you can barely see the green zipper picking up, which is Perfect, and this is what it looks like from the inside, and this is what it looks like from the outside. So that's how you achieve an invisible zipper. It's really, really easy. And afterwards, you just want to go ahead and close, so close the, so close the side seam. I mean the back seam, and you just want to start right under where you stop sewing the zipper. And you're just going to sew it down and this stitch is going to be your back stitch and you can do this for pants for skirts for dresses you just want to go ahead and sew it from there to there and your invisible zipper is done here's the video for today I hope it was helpful and I hope um, it, all, it was also easy seriously zipper is all about practice it uh, in the beginning when i started sewing i hated attaching zippers all i did was just so stretchy fabric because it was easy for me but if you keep doing that you will never learn so it's all about practice and practice and you become perfect so i hope this tutorial will help you practice and become good in installing normal zipper and as well as invisible zipper so that's the video for today Thank you guys so, so much. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!